ladies and gentlemen, please strap yourselves down and get ready to meet I'm Dave. Young Master Dave. He's a real whiz kid. Pop down the shop and get yourself some. This should be enough. And young Miss Molly. She's cute. You want to get out more? Hey, your puff. She's cool. Nothing. She's got a kick like a mule. Then there's Mr. Steven, master magician. Is that your card? No. Entertainer extraordinaire. Please don't clap. Oh, all right, oh. he's rubbish, but he's cheap. Boy. And, of course, the star of the show. It's the one and only... Oh, what's his name again? Oh, it begins with a B. Is it, is it uh, Barry? Hey, watch it. No, no, it's Boris. I should be having words with your agent later. It's Basil. Basil Brush! On with the show. Music, titles, nights. Oh, for Pete's sake. Has somebody got 50p for the meter? <laughs> This week, like the smell of old socks, romance is in the air. Oh, that's nice. Roses are red, violets are blue. And hey, young Mr Dave, what's going on here then? Are you writing me a love letter? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my new sideline, writing poems and greetings cards. Oh, I like poetry. Oh, come on, let's hear one. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> All right. Mm. But I haven't quite cracked it yet. Never mind, I won't laugh. <laughs> Get it on, young Wordsworth. To my darling wife. <laughs> you said you wouldn't laugh. Sorry, yeah. merely a tit up. <laughs> Get it on. We've been together ages. Our levity is so strong. I always look at you and think. Blimey, where did I go wrong? <laughs> 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 Where did I go? Hey, hey, Mr. Dave, I'm sorry, Dave. Uh, read me another one. I promise I'll be serious. Promise, 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 promise. Well, OK. Yeah. <clears throat> this one's for a get well soon card. Oh! I'm sorry you were poorly. I hope that you get well. So wrap yourself up warmly. And wash your feet, they smell like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, wash your feet, they smell, they pong. <laughs> hey, hey, Dave. Where are you going? I'm sorry, I was only trying to help. <laughs> God, grief! Get David Edward on the phone. I've discovered a spiky gorilla. I'm a hedgehog. Of course you are, Mr. <laughs> David. I'm teaching children to cross the street a snuffy the road safety hedgehog. This is my costume. That's a relief. I thought you'd put in too much hair gel. I don't have time for this. I've got to get down to the school. I'm running late. Oh, which one? Sir Nigel's. Cool! The rough one. <laughs> you know, it's so rough at that school, the teachers have to get their parents to pick them up. Oh, look at the time. I haven't even had any breakfast. Ah, do you want a bowl of milk with some bread in it? <laughs> no. He's a bit prickly this morning. <laughs> Oh, mm, morning, Miss Molly. What you got there, Mom? Postcard from Mum and Dad. They've reached Himalayas, apparently. Ah, uh, Molly, at least one person who won't take the mickey. <laughs> well, I ever said what a great role model you are, Uncle Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Miss Molly. It isn't easy for Mr Stephen trying to earn a crust as the professional magician he so longs to be. <laughs> <laughs> Just remind you of what your mum and dad said before they went off gallivanting round the world. Right. While we're off gallivanting round the world, <laughs> your Uncle Stephen's in charge. I know he's a complete burke, but apparently on his passport it says that he's an adult, so you do what he tells you, right? Come on, Mum. Let's get gone. <sighs> Ta -ta. You heard. I'm a responsible adult, OK? <laughs> anyway, I'd love to stay and shout. But you? But I've got to go to work. Yes, as a human pincushion. <laughs> <laughs> Later that day at Annals Cafe. Oh, <laughs> that rhymes. Oh, heavens of fun. Oi, service, where are our drinks? Hold on a minute. 
What do you think of my new posh menus? Uh, just like they have in the posh restaurants? Uh, but Anil, we're not in a posh restaurant. I see posh burger bell. <laughs> That's why I'm having a revamp. I'm going up market. Woo, to buy vegetables. <laughs> no, up market, not up the market. Tonight is my grand opening. The local newspaper sending their restaurant critic. Yeah. These new menus, Gordon Blur. Gordon Bennett, more like. Have you seen these prices? <laughs> Blimey, what a cheek. <laughs> Three cups of tea, please, Mush. I'll bring them over to you. Great <laughs> kids! Great Scott! It's Frankenstein's hedgehog. Uh, hey, what happened to you? Class 3F happened. They were everywhere. It was... it was horrible. Just in time. A large, hot, steaming mug of... I see. What do you call that? Three teas. Eh? Have I grown or have those cups shrunk? This eh? is how they serve it in the fancy restaurants. That'll be six pounds, please. Six pounds? <laughs> eh? But you couldn't drown an ant in that. <laughs> it's all part of the move up market. Smaller portions, bigger prices. Ah, very well. Pay the man, Mr Stephen. I left my wallet in my other animal costume. Molly? Dave, can you change your 50? Oh, yeah. Then you got loads of money. I don't know what you're wearing about a measly six pounds. <laughs> uh, he got you there, Mr Anil. <laughs> well done, Dave. I can't stand around. I've got loads to do to get this place ready. We'll give you a hand, Anil. Oh, great. Will you? What? For nothing? <laughs> ah! <laughs> don't worry, Anil. I'll help you. For free! <laughs> He's looking at a girl again. Pathetic, isn't it? He's gone all good. <laughs> Mr. Stephen, step out of it. Focus, man. Focus. Sorry. But she is lovely. Do you mind not doing that while I'm talking to you? But <laughs> she's smiling at me. Right, I'm off home. Are you sure you're going to be all right here on your own, Basil? Oh, yes. I'm going to wait and see how young Mr Stephen gets on. <laughs> well, don't cramp his style, Basil. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Well, Mr Stephen, aren't you going to introduce me to your friend? <laughs> oh, yes, sorry, Basil. This is Amanda. Enchanté, as they say in Germany, if they speak in French. <laughs> Hello, Basil. Oh, she's very nice, isn't she, Miss Stephen? Aren't you well spoken? She went to finishing school. Oh, you can speak Finnish. <laughs> no. Uh, that's a shame. I've got a reindeer at home and I can't read the instructions. <laughs> so, uh, did you come here at evening? Often, I haven't seen you round here before. No, it's my first time. I've just moved to the area with work. <laughs> so, what do you do? I dress up as a hedgehog. Ah, oh, well, that'll explain it, then. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr Stephen would never dress up like this for fun, you know. Exactly. Yes, for fun, he dresses up as a baboo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, what's that? <laughs> oh, nothing. So, uh, do you... Live round here? Yes. My aunt's putting me up until I can find my own place. I'm supposed to be meeting her here, actually. Oh, great. Oh, we'll stick around and say hello. <laughs> oh, well, I don't think that's such a good idea. You see, um, she's not too good with new people. Nah, she'll be all right with us, you know. I've always been a one with the ladies. <laughs> and when women meet Mr Stephen, they usually want to smother him. 